Hi, my name is Sean Ward from Pitch Partners. We are a professional services firm. I'm the general manager of the wealth management division in Sydney. Our role is to help clients build their asset base so they can generate an income stream that funds a comfortable life where work becomes optional. I'm sitting here with Andrew Wilson, principal advisor in our team, just to ask some questions on the back of the budget. Andrew, what were the main takeaways from the budget? Well, Sean, I guess the, from a government's perspective, any concerns around debt or deficit have really been thrown out the window. Um, there's a real focus on ensuring that the, the momentum of the recovery is maintained. Uh, we've seen a lot of spending. There's um, tax cuts for low to, low to middle income earners, um, tax cuts for business owners. There's an extra $15 billion on top of $100 billion that's already been committed uh, in infrastructure spending, you know, spending in aged care on the NDIS, um, focus on the digital economy, uh, as well as some support for the harder hit sectors like aviation and, and tourism. What we did notice in the budget is that much of the uh, forecasts that have been used are actually relatively conservative forecasts. And we wonder whether there's uh, a bit of a play there by the current government to set the bar a little bit lower so they're able to come in with some good news uh, ahead of an election. And all this talk of the growing government debt, like how should we be concerned? What should be the level of concern and what does it mean for, for our clients and, and the general public? Yeah, so I guess the, the debt is accruing with all, all of the spending that's going on. That, uh, that money's got to come from somewhere. Uh, and so the government uh, has rapidly increased the debt level that it's holding. I think we're, we're up to, uh, well, the forecast is to get to 40% uh, debt to GDP. Um, is that a concern? I think if you think about this in terms of your own personal home loan, um, in the past, you might have been able to borrow $1 million, and when interest rates were 5%, that would cost you $50,000 a year. Now that interest rates have come down, so let's say interest rates on your home loan is 2.5%, you can effectively borrow $2 million. Now double the amount you previously could because the interest rate is half. Similar sort of thing uh, from the government's perspective, they're funding a lot of this through debt at really low interest rates. Um, the interest cost on this higher level of debt is actually no higher than uh, pre-pandemic. Is it a concern? Um, the government is trying, it's the, the strategy here is really to spend our way out of debt. And, and by that we mean all of the spending that's going on really needs to come back to the country uh, in, to, in increased income that results in increased tax revenue and the government will use that to hopefully repay this debt or, or at least as a portion of GDP uh, sometime in the future. The, the one thing I will note though is there was no um, forecast return to surplus, any budget surplus, any time in the next decade. Mm -hmm. And superannuation, were there uh, notable changes? There was a few, but I guess as advisors, you know, we were quite happy to see there wasn't uh, anywhere near as many changes as what there has been in the past, which is which is good for uh, a bit of stabili stability for people's retirement plans. Um, I think the two main changes that stood out to me um, were the changes around the work test, which are going to allow more people um, over the age of 65 and 67 to be able to continue to contribute to super uh, and also a they've changed the rules around the downsize of super contribution uh, and reduced the minimum age from 65 down to 60. When you combine those two changes it presents a real opportunity for people in the 60 to 75 age bracket to make quite a large contribution to super at the time that they're downsizing their home. So I think that's a, that's probably the biggest opportunity that's come out in the, the superannuation space. Mm. Mm. And thoughts on uh, impact on markets? From the budget, mm. so the budget is obviously very stimulative. There's a lot of spending going on. Um, that is likely to be good for growth assets. Um, interest rates are remaining low. That, that flows into discount rates, so that's um, again, supporting asset prices and, and share markets. Most economists are, are predicting property prices to continue to rise. Uh, we heard from one of the major banks yesterday saying that they're forecasting 
a further 15 to 20% rise in property prices over the next 12 months. Uh, from a fixed interest point of view, I guess our, our views internally are that uh, interest rates will remain range bound. There's not a lot of um, upward pressure on inflation uh, while the unemployment level is, is where it is at the moment. Um, so interest rates are probably going to be range bound over the, the foreseeable future. That's great. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and we'll hear from you soon.